Hey guys, question and answer number 17 coming at you. Three quick ones, let's get right into it. Is fasting bad for you? Uh, no, fasting is not bad for you. It can actually have some awesome health benefits to fast here and there, whether it be, you know, you're not eating for a 12, 16, 18, 24 hour window, something like that. There's something that happens called um, autophagy or autophagy, uh, depending on how you pronounce it, but it's basically just a fancy word for cell turnover or cell cleanup. So basically your body just kind of cleaning itself out. Um, and as food isn't coming in, your body can kind of fight off some, some pathogens, get rid of some stuff it doesn't need um, because it's not dealing with incoming food. So fasting can be awesome for that. Also just fat loss. I mean, when you're not eating, calories count. So when you're not eating, um, you're gonna burn more than you're taking in, obviously, because you're not taking in food. Your body's gonna use fat for fuel. Um, it's gonna burn off your stored body fat, and therefore you can get leaner. Now, um, you don't want to you don't want to push this um, right off the bat. So you want to come into a fasting protocol really gradually. And if you have any other questions about specifics and stuff like that, you can hit me up, um, and I'll point you in the right direction. Number two, is it true that your knees? have to stay behind your toes when you squat so no they don't have to stay behind your toes the key is is control so your knee um, your knee can track further than your toe if this is your toe this is your knee your, your knee can track further than your toe um, you just need to be under control so when you're squatting in any sense no matter how you're doing it you want to be controlled you don't want to crash into the bottom and then you know bounce off the bottom and you and, and use that too much of that elasticity in your muscles um, and then come out of the top because if the weight gets too heavy and you're not under control, it's kind of a recipe to get injured. So just make sure that you're controlling those movements and then um, slowly, gradually build up in weight in something like a squat and just make sure that, uh, that you're strong enough to control that movement top to bottom. Third one is, what's your favorite calorie counting app? I like my fitness pal. It's, it's pretty good. It's super easy to use and you can just, you know, track things from your phone. They have a barcode scanner in that thing too. So if you're out at a grocery store, you can scan barcodes and um, most often they'll come up right in your app and then you can enter the serving size and stuff like that. The only thing I will say about that app is that anybody can enter a food. So that doesn't mean that they're all accurate. So you just want to kind of double check, make sure that your entries are accurate and you could use, you know, some sort of site online to, to just make sure, or just look at the list that's up in my fitness pal, compare different entries and make sure that they're pretty consistent and then you can go with that one. So yeah, that's it for today. Three quick questions. If you have any uh, questions for future Q and A's, send me, send me those Facebook email, um, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. And I uh, hope you got, got some from this. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.